Hello students, in part 5 of polynomials, I have done up to number 10 of exercise 2e and in this video, I am going to start from number 11. Here two terms are there, this is the first term, this is the second term. Here, a is common, so a we can write here, because here it is a, here it is a square, so one a I can take common, b is not common. Again, a plus b whole cube and here it is a plus b to the power 1. That means a plus b also can be taken common. So, if I take a, a plus b common from both, then we are left with a plus b whole square. Because here it is a, a plus b whole cube. I have already taken a, a plus b common. So, we are left with a plus b whole square. Out of this 3 a plus b, I have taken 1 a plus b common. So, we are left with a plus b whole square minus 3. Out of this a square, 1 a is common. So, another a left. This b is also left. And a plus b already taken common. I hope this much is clear. Now, it is a, a plus b. Here, a plus b whole square, it can be written as a square plus twice a b plus b square. I hope all of you know the formula of a plus b whole square. a plus b whole square is a square plus twice a b plus b square minus thrice a b. So, it will be a a plus b then a square minus a b plus twice a b minus 3 a b. It will give minus a b plus b square. This cannot be further simplified. So, this is the required answer. In question number 12, it is given a square x square plus a x square plus 1 into x plus a. Now, directly nothing is common. So, first of all, we have to remove this bracket. So, it will be a square x square plus a x cube a x square into x. It will be a x cube plus 1 into x x plus a. Now, from first to a is common x square is common because out of a and s square a is common so we can write a out of x cube and x square x square is common so we are left with a from the first term because out of s square x square i have already taken a x square common so one a left plus a x cube and from this i have taken a x square common so x is left from last two we can take one common so it will be x plus a so, here we got the same term x plus a, x plus a because a plus x or x plus a, it is the same thing. So, these two again can be taken common. It will be a plus x. Then we are left with a x square plus 1 which cannot be further simplified. So, this is the required answer. Clear? From this part and this part, we have taken a plus x common. Since a plus x is common, we are left with a x square plus 1. Since this cannot be further simplified, so this is the required answer. In question number 13, it is given that 27 s square minus 48 b square. Sometimes students find it difficult to find common. For them, they can do like this. 27, if you prime factorize, it will be 3 9 ja 27, then 3 3 ja 9. For 48, you can write like this 2 24 ja, 2 12 ja, 2 6 ja, and 2, 3 j. Now, 27 s square can be written as 3 into 3 into 3 s square minus 48 can be written as 2 4 times 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 3 b square. Now, if you see first term and second term, here 3 is common. So, 3 you can write here. So, here it will be 3 3 j 9 s square 9 s square minus this 3 already we have taken common so 2 to the 4 4 to the 8 8 to the 16 b square so if possible directly you can take 3 common and you can write this line then this line is not needed now you can write 3 9 a square can be written as 3 a whole square minus 16 b square can be written as 4 b whole square keep it in a bracket so you got 3 here a square minus b square all of you know the formula of a square minus b square it will be a plus b into a minus b so it will be a plus b because we are considering this one to be a this one to be b so a square 
minus b square it will be a plus b into a minus b which is the required answer now next question is 20 x square minus 45 from 20 and 45 we can take 5 common because 5 4 to 20 5 9 to 45 so we can write here 5 common it will be 4 x square because 5 4 to 20 minus 5 9 to 45 now this 4 x square can be written as 2 x whole square and 9 can be written as 3 square now we can apply s square minus b square formula so it will be 5 here it is a this is b s square minus b square it will be a plus b into a minus b this cannot be further simplified so this is the required answer in question number 15 it is p plus q whole cube minus p minus q here you can write p plus q whole cube and from this two i can take minus common it will be p plus q now here p plus q is common we can write it like this also p plus q into p plus q whole square minus p plus q and if you want you can just imagine that one one is here now here p plus q common since p plus q common we are left with p plus q whole square minus one out of these two terms p plus q is common so we have written p plus q outside so we are left with p plus q whole square minus one so it will be p plus q now a square minus b square because one can be considered as one square so a square minus b square it will be a plus b a minus b this cannot be further simplified so the required answer is p plus q into p plus q plus 1 into p plus q minus 1. In question number 16, it is x square minus y square plus 6y minus 9. Now here it seems that we can use this formula s square minus b square. But if I take this two, that is x plus y into x minus y, from this part we are not going to get x plus y or x minus y. That means direct application of a square minus b square is not going to help us. So this sum we have to do in a different way this x square it will remain as it is here we can keep it in a bracket y square minus 6y plus 9 just because I have taken minus common so this minus will become plus this plus will become minus and this minus will become plus now here we can apply one formula that is a square minus twice a b plus b square that is a minus b whole square so it can be written as x square minus y square plus 3 square this 9 can be written as 3 square so it will be minus 2 y into 3 now check x square minus y square 3 to the 6 y plus 3 square is 9 and this is a minus b whole square formula that is y minus 3 whole square because s square minus 2ice a b plus b square means a minus b whole square. So if we apply this formula, these three terms can be written as y minus 3 whole square. Now we have to use a square minus b square formula that is a plus b a plus b into a minus b a minus b. If you just simplify it, it will be x plus y minus 3 and x minus y minus minus plus 3 and this is the required answer in question number 17 it is given x to the power 4 minus 625 now since 625 is a perfect square we can write it like this x square square minus 25 square because 25 square is 625 and this 4 can be written as x square square powers are always multiplied so 2 to the 4 now we are having a square minus b square it will give a plus b into a minus b now x square plus 25 it cannot be further simplified so it will remain as it is and x square minus 25 it can be written as x square minus 5 square now a square minus b square we know the formula a plus b into a minus b 
So instead of this line, we can write x plus 5 into x minus 5. Since this cannot be further simplified, so this is the required answer. Question number 18, it is given x square plus 3 root 3x plus 6. Now here we have to use middle term factorization and we know the rule for middle term factorization is we have to first multiply the coefficient of x square with this constant number. Here coefficient of x square is 1 and here it is 6. So 1 into 6, it will give 6. Since this number is positive, so we need two numbers whose sum should be 3 root over 3. Okay, we need two numbers whose sum should be 3 root over 3 and product should be 6. This 6 can be written as 2 into 3 and since we need root 3, so we can write it 2 root 3 into root 3 because root 3 into root 3 is 3. Now we got two numbers one is 2 root 3, another is plus root 3. If I add these two, I am going to get 3 root 3, and if I multiply these two, I am going to get 6. So here I am going to write x square plus 2 root over 3 plus root over 3 x plus 6 and instead of 6 we can write 2 root over 3 root over 3 clear x square plus instead of 3 root 3 we are writing 2 root 3 plus root 3 so 2 root 3 plus root 3 is 3 root 3 x plus instead of 6 we are writing 2 root 3 into root 3 this can be written as x square plus 2 root 3 x 2 root over 3 x plus root over 3x plus 2 root over 3 into root over 3. Now from first 2 I can take x common so we are left with x plus 2 root over 3 plus from last 2 we can take root over 3 common and if we take root over 3 common we are left with x plus 2 root over 3 clear from first two I have taken x common so it will be out of x square one x I have taken common so another x left plus two root over three plus from this two I have taken root three common so we are left with x plus two root three x plus two root three here also x plus two root three which can be taken common so it will be x plus two root over three and we are left with x plus root three right here x plus root three so this is the final answer. In question number 19 it is given that 4 root 3 x square plus 5 x minus 2 root 3. Now just like the previous sum multiply the coefficient of x square with this constant term. So it will be 4 root over 3 into minus 2 root over 3. So it will be plus minus minus 4 to the 8 and root 3 into root 3 3. So we got minus 24. Since it is negative, that means we need two numbers whose difference should be this number 5. Since it is negative, so difference of two numbers should be 5 and the product of these two must be minus 24. Now 24 if we factorize, I am going to get 2 and 12, 12 to the 24. Again 2 can be written as 2 into 6. This 12 can be written as 2 into 6 and 6 can be written as 2 into 3. Now we want 5. Now from these 4 numbers we have to find a combination which will give 5. Now 2 to the 4, 4 to the 8, 2 to the 4, 4 to the 8 and 3. 8 minus 3 it will be 5. So instead of 5 we are writing 4 root over 3x square plus 8 minus 3x minus 2 root over 3. 4 root over 3x square plus instead of 5 we are writing 8 minus 3 because 8 and minus 3 if I multiply it will be minus 24 and 8 minus 3 it will be 5 x minus 2 root 5 so 4 root over 3 x square plus 8 x plus minus minus 3 x minus 2 root over 3 now from first to here it is 8 here it is 4 so 4 x square x x so 4 x common so we are left with root 3 x plus 2 4 root over 3 x into x x square 4 to the 8 x from these two this 3 
we can consider as root 3 into root 3x minus 2 root over 3. This 3 can be written as root 3 into root 3x minus 2 root 3. Now it is 4x then root 3x plus 2. From last 2 I can take root 3 common and if I take root 3 common then we are left with root 3x plus 2. Now if you check plus minus minus root 3 into root 3x plus minus minus 2 root over 3. Now root 3x plus 2 here also root 3x plus 2 can be taken common. So we are left with 4x minus root 3 which is the required answer. Now question number 27 root over 2x square minus 10x minus 4 root 2 which is just like question number 19. So I think you can do it yourself. Let me show the last sum from this exercise that is question number 21. Your question is 9x minus 2y whole square minus 4x minus 2y minus 13. Now whenever this type of sums are there same term here also same term we can consider let x minus 2y b a if we replace this x minus 2y by a then we will get 9 a square minus 4 a minus 13 now after multiplying 9 and minus 13 we got minus 117 since it is negative so we need two numbers whose difference should be 4 and product should be product of p and q should be minus 117 now if you factorize 117 with 3, it will be 3, 3, 9, 27, 3, 9, 27. Again with 3, 3, 13, 39. This cannot be further factorized. Now since we want 4, so 3, 3, 9, 13 minus 9 will give you 4. So 9 a square minus, instead of 4, we can write 13 minus 9 a minus 13. Instead of 4, we are writing 13 minus 9. So it will be 9a square minus 13 into a minus minus plus 9a minus 13. From first to a common, it will be 9a minus 13. From last two, we can take one common. So it will be 9a minus 13. Since other than one, nothing is common. So we have to take one common. Now, we got 9a minus 13 in both the cases. So it will be 9a minus 13. 9a minus 13, 9a minus 13. So we are left with a plus 1. Now we have to replace a by x minus 2y. So it will be 9 x minus 2y minus 13. And instead of this a also we are writing x minus 2y plus 1. So it will be 9 x 9 to the 18 y minus 13 then x minus 2 y plus 1. So we got 9 x minus 18 y minus 13 into x minus 2 y plus 1. That is the required answer. This is the last sum from this exercise. That's all for today. In the next video I am going to upload sums of 2 f. Okay till then bye bye take care and wait for the next part.